Look at how bad this aluminum looks. Over here you can see it's corroded. You can get a wire brush and clean that up. I'm going to start with the wire brush on my drill. See that? You can see the difference already. It's making it look a lot better. I'm also going to clean up the CVT cover because look at this. The paint's coming off, aluminum's corroding. CVT cover needs to be sanded down and repainted. Look at that. Paint's coming right off. When you do this, you should wear a dust mask. This hose here, you can pop it out of the way. So you can get right here with the drill. Because the drill is going to do a lot better than the wire brush will. Once this is done, you can come over it with some fine sandpaper and clean it up nicer. You can even loosen up this bolt on here that holds the shock, take the shock out of the way, and then you can get all of this right here. You need a half inch socket. Another thing you can do too to make your bike look better, any spots that are rusted like here, I painted it with the metallic aluminum spray paint and it makes it look a lot better. You only have to remove this shock. Don't remove the other shock. Of course, it's not going to stay out of the way, so you're going to have to hold it up while you use the drill. The rims on the bike have a different type of finish, so I wouldn't recommend using the wire brush on the rims.
Be careful down here. There's a gasket down there where the gear box is. You don't want to damage the gasket. When you get as much as you can done with the drill, put the shock back on. You're going to have to pull the shock down to get it to line up. So you can put the bolt in. Get the bolt snug. Then continue grinding away. You want to go over the cover with either sandpaper or you can use the wire brush in the drill or the hand wire brush and you want to clean these up the best you can to find out where the paint's coming off. Just keep doing it until the paint stops chipping off. You want to get this ready for repainting. And this up here is going to have to be sanded down pretty good, so when you paint over it, it won't show through. You can take this part of, you can take this part of the wire brush and go like this, just to rough up the surface. See down here, it looks like it got hit by rocks or something, the paint's all chipped up, so this has to be cleaned up. Get the wire brush into the areas where the drill won't reach. Takes a little longer. I can't even get to that with the wire brush. Might have to get a little piece of sandpaper and go in there to get that area. this back in there continue on it with the brush come back here and clean up this area wow look at that just doing that now I can see some uh, numbering and letters there Be very careful when you do this because you don't want to touch the rim when this is spinning you'll tear up your rim.
then wherever the drill can't get, use the wire brush. Like up in here. Right here. Heat here in Florida is just so bad that this paint can't take it. So instead of trying to paint all this silver back, I'm just going to clean it up. See how bad that is? Just going to clean it up and paint it with a flat black. The sun it will even eat up a clear coat in a few months. After you loosen up the bolts, take the cover off. Inspect your belt. Make sure your belt looks good and strong and there's no damage on the belt anywhere. If there is, you're going to have to change your belt. The center stand is pretty rusty, so I went over it with the wire brush, and now I'm going to paint it, give it a little paint, give it some protection. Also the kickstand, you can open up the kickstand when you got the center stand up, give it a little paint. What you really want to make sure is not rusted out too bad is the spring, because if you don't have the spring this thing's not going to stay in place. Right here, I cleaned this up a little bit. Now I'm going to paint it, make it look better. I'm only going to do flat black because the clear coat, no matter what clear coat I get, the sun eats it up. So better with just a flat color. I'm going to do the same thing on this trim on the other side and I'll go over this again and give it another coat after I let it dry for a little bit. I'm going to clean up this cover real good now that I got it off so I can repaint it. If you like the way aluminum looks polished, you could actually strip all the paint off of this, polish it up real nice, and just have a shiny aluminum CVT cover if you want. But I'd rather have it black. I'm going to rinse this with water as well when I'm done cleaning it up.
Also, while you have this cover off, clean out the inside. See how nasty that is? You can clean that out with just run some water in here to clean that out. I'll do that when I rinse off the rest of this to get it ready for painting. Look how nice this aluminum looks right here. Nice and shiny. Look at how nice the bike looks now in this area. Almost looks brand new. Spray down the muffler. You want to get this paint residue off of here from the overspray. This 1000 sandpaper, take it right off without scratching the aluminum on the muffler. Spray it off and see what that did. Looks a lot better now. I'm sure there'll be somebody in the comments that will say, Hey, why didn't you just tape it up with the painter's tape before you painted it? Yeah, well, you can, but to be honest, this time I didn't feel like it. So I just painted it, and I'm scraping this off. The aluminum needs to be cleaned and polished up anyways. Even though I taped these up, still got a little overspray on the headlights. So I just get it wet and then wipe it off with the 1000 sandpaper and the black paint should come right off yeah see that's coming off and this will improve the clarity of the plastic as well because this plastic likes to yellow 
because unfortunately on their scooters they use stupid stuff that they shouldn't be using. It's like who cares if you got to spend a couple hundred dollars more on a brand new scooter when it's, it'll have quality headlights like this where they don't yellow. Same thing on the gauge cluster, they yellow too. I have another video on my channel um, for your gauge cover. If it turns yellow and you can't see your gauges anymore, you don't even know how fast you're driving your bike, um, you can watch that video where I show you how to replace it with something so that it won't turn yellow again and you can actually see your gauges. Okay, I'm not going to show the other one, but it's the same thing for the other side. Go over it if, if this happened. I mean, even just to clean up the headlights to make to improve the clarity of the plastic, you can still go over it with the 1000 sandpaper. It won't hurt anything. It doesn't scratch. This is how you clean the rims on the bike. Put the bike on the center stand and you can start with the back wheel because you can spin it easily. Spin it around and get it wet. Take the 1000 sandpaper make sure it's wet put it on the rim like this hold it flat and start to spin the wheel like this and spray it off Take the sandpaper, do the same thing for the little groove right here, hold it in there, and then spin the wheel. Spray it off. Then the rim looks a lot better. Do the same thing for the other side of this wheel and then the front wheel. And that's pretty much it for the detailing unless you want to do something else on your bike. Here's the walk around when the scooter's finished. Like I said before, the CVT cover pretty much looks brand new, almost. Here's the back wheel. The aluminum rim's a lot cleaner than it was. show it to you like this. I don't have the trunk on right now because I was rebuilding it. I had to make a new one. I didn't install that yet. If you're interested in learning how to make a trunk for your scooter, say for like if the cheap plastic one that it comes with when it's new breaks like mine did, it just fell apart and all my stuff flew into the road, then uh, that video will be coming out probably next week and you can watch that, how to make your trunk. There's still a little bit of the black paint on the headlight. I'll get that off later. Still a little black on the muffler, but it looks a lot better than it did. This stupid plastic broke, as usual, so I'm going to have to glue that back in or put a screw or something in there but you can see you saw what it looked like before with that strip it looks a lot better now solid black there's the front wheel the front wheel actually cleaned up nicer than the back wheel did the aluminum's a lot shinier I cleaned up the brake caliper a little bit too with the uh, sandpaper 
some residue there. This uh, clear coat starting to come off. This clear coat that I get is supposed to be for outside. It just doesn't work for some reason. And the sun starts to eat it up after a couple months. So now, as you can see the front, it's just flat black. Flat black. No more clear coat. See right here where it's starting to peel? That's what it was doing all down here. But the peels are even worse. It took me forever to sand it out. And this here is damaged. I pretty much glued it back together. So that's why this looks like crap here. But other than that, the bike looks pretty decent. Because the problem with these bikes, they, everything's cheap. Cheap paint, everything. So then you have to constantly repaint it and take care of it if you want it to look nice. Like even this plastic here looks bad. You have to use some kind of a plastic protectant on it. Or it'll dry rot. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell.